We're back again, folks. Welcome back. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, we're just carrying on this flamenco olive oil bottle and uh, or flamenco style olive oil bottle. I, I coined that phrase. I don't know if it really is, but anyway. What we're doing now, we just, in the last clip, we finished the base there by trimming in a chuck. What I want to do now is attach one of those um, spouts that you saw me make the, uh, in the clip before, before last. So, if you remember, these were these were the spouts, weren't they? So what we're going to what we're going to do is what we have to do. You see, this spout is no good as it as it is got to be cut. So the first thing we've got to do is, you know, is, is trim away a bit of the clay here at the, at the base here, because it's too much clay there. So what I do is always when I'm doing this, well, whenever I'm doing tea, teapots or anything with spouts, after I throw in the spout, you always want to remove some of that clay, you see, there at the base. All right, now you need to do this when, it, when it's, it's kind of leather hard. Don't let it get too hard. As with any appendage that you're gonna put onto another pot or another piece, you don't want the, the pieces to get too hard. Otherwise you're gonna have problems with sticking. Okay, so we've, I've, I've cleaned that there a bit. Okay, but it still doesn't look right, does he? So we've got to, we've got to get him more into this sort of position, haven't we? which is going to mean um, cutting through here, you see. So, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm cutting right through here like this, you see. Okay, and you have to be a bit bold when you do that. Don't be too timid. You've got to hold it and take that knife and aim and just cut through, you see. See what I've done there? Now, now you'll see that when I put this, it's beginning to look a bit better, isn't it? It's not quite right yet. I've got to cut it, or remove more of this clay here on this top edge. Because the more clay you see I remove on the top edge here, it's going to make the me be able to incline the spout Have I been referring it to as a handle instead of a spout? Sorry, I just had to do a double take of myself. I was thinking, God, did I be, have I been saying handle all the time? I should have been saying spout. <laughs> okay. An another thing you might notice is about this. You see, it's kind of, it's, it, there's more from top to bottom than there is from left to right. So, you see, it probably squeeze it a little bit like that, you see. Also makes it fit the form maybe of the, of the bottle a bit better. All right. So actually I just did one of these a moment ago and I think I'm, I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna carry right on with that one, okay? Well, that's what you're gonna have to do, you see, until you, Okay, so the next thing is you're going to wet your spout in your water pot, the base of your spout, where it's going to join, okay? Take your spout and hold it up to the, the body. And you want to get it the right height, which is about there. All right, and then just push it into the body of the of the jar all right just push it like that and then and then pull him off and if you do that you'll notice he, he, he's left a, a mark you see he's left a scar hasn't he so what you can then do now because this is a it doesn't need a strainer or of any kind what we can do is um, simply cut that piece out altogether. 
all right? So you need to allow a little bit There he is. That's the little piece we, we cut out. So, that's gonna go over there. But first, I just want to make this a little, a little bit more tidy. Because you know, when you cut with a knife, it can be a bit, uh, You've got to think of the liquid, you see, wanting to pour out. So, you want to remove any obstructions and make it a nice, on that inside edge. So just dip your finger in your water and just smooth the inside edge there. Because that's where the, the oil has got to flow, you see. You've got to think of the the liquid aerodynamics. <laughs> okay, so that's he's going to go on there. All right. Next thing we're going to have to do is take a tool to scratch with. Now I I don't usually use my fingernails for this. I usually just use anything with a sharp. end so you're going to key the surface all around are we in the picture still yes good and um, now I'm panicking because I don't have any um, any slip at least I don't think I do got any slip okay we're not gonna panic we're not gonna panic we've got to do a little if you need some slip quickly so some slurry and you don't have any you're gonna take some dry clay all right don't put too much in there just what you need okay and then we're gonna take some some water we're gonna put some water in there Now if you use, if you can use some clay shavings, you see, they'll absorb the water quickly because they're thin. And um, it's just that I don't have any wet clay down here in my wheel tray, which I would normally use. So I'm having to make this a bit, you know, Now you see what I've been able to do, you see I've been able to manufacture some slurry Okay, folks, we've got to be quick here because I don't know how much battery I've got left. So, just fish around in here and you'll get some of this nice soft. Try not to have too many lumps. <laughs> 
Okay, so you're going to apply, apply that, that, that slip. Okay, then take your, your, your spout, just maybe wet it a little bit. All right, now you're going to take that spout and make sure he's, make sure he's straight, okay? Now push around the edge of the spout like I'm doing. You see? On the top of the spout there. Push him in a bit. Now be careful you don't deform the spout in the process, okay? You don't want to do that. Ease the clay into the the body of the of the oil jar. Ho, 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 he's coming along, isn't he? So, when you've done that, just sponge him like that. And now, finish the join by applying a bit more pressure there. It's a bit of a knack, you know, sort of being able to finish nicely, cleanly, you know. It's not that easy always to finish off uh, work in this way, in, in cleanly, like you... You see, this has got a round form to it, this hole borer. Okay, I'm just going to use that to... get in there to the top of it here because close the join over this is a um, just a, a regular sponge Right, what's left to do is to put the handle on, but I'm going to cut this clip right now because I'm concerned the battery might die on me and I don't like clips that are finished, not finished, you know, because I always like to say to you, keep practicing. <laughs> so anyway, folks, there it is. What's left to do, and I'll do this in the next clip, is, is just finish the end of the spout here and attach the handle and then well, that'll be it we are probably going to be finding a cork of some kind that will go in here not like this it'd probably be a wine cork okay folks uh please visit my website simonleachpottery.com and uh, hang on in there keep practicing we'll see you soon okay bye bye d d d d d She know. <laughs> bye bye now.